Let us now all together pray the Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. All peoples, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this first day of the month of July, the first Wednesday of this month, we gather around the table of the Eucharist to thank the Lord for all life and blessings He has given us. And we continue to dedicate our lives, to dedicate this month to our Lord through the intercession of Our Lady. And we pray that we will continue to receive God into our lives day to day. And so to begin this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to cause sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light 
of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly with the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feast, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water, and goodness like an unfailing stream. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people, and I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. For your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out from no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. For mine are all the animals of the forest, beasts by the thousand on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air. And whatever steers in the plains belongs to me. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you, for mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes? and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, what have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swineherds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon, the whole town came out to meet Jesus, 
And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are already on the first day of July, in the middle of the year. And uh, just last night we have heard about uh, that uh, Metro Manila and still other places in our country are still in uh, uh, GCQ, and many of us are uh, already very, uh, maybe feeling tired. Some of us are already worried about our situation. But in this Eucharistic celebration, let us remember that every day and in every time of this year, Jesus comes to us. Magandang paalala po sa atin ng ating pagdiriwa ngayon na araw-araw, anumang araw sa taon na ito ng 2020 ay dumarating si Jesus, dumarating ang Diyos. At magandang tanungin din natin, ano kaya ang tugon natin sa kanyang pagdating? In our gospel passage today, this is uh, one of the few moments that Jesus was uh, asked by people to leave their district. Yung binasa po nating ebanghelyo sa araw na ito ay iilan po sa mga tagpo sa ebanghelyo na si Jesus ay pinaalis ng bayan. Kung sa maraming kwento, si Jesus ay tinatanggap ng masaya Kung sa ibang kwento, si Jesus ay sinusundan, pinakikinggan, pinupuntahan ng maraming tao. Sa ebanghelyo ngayon, si Jesus ay pinaalis ng mga tao mula sa kanilang lungsod. And we can see why the people were in fact worried about the presence of Jesus because Jesus upon going to their district, to their territory, saw two demoniacs, mga tao na inaaliha ng masamang espiritu. That is why they are almost outside the city. And when Jesus encountered them, Jesus wanted to heal them. But the demons left and went to the swine, and the swine uh, ran down to the sea, and the swine, all of them, drowned in the sea. So you can see here why the district of the gatherings, the place where Jesus was in, why they were worried of the presence of Jesus. Because upon healing the two persons, the two demoniacs, the swine, the herd of swine was killed. And so people were thinking, this man, Jesus, was just bringing trouble in their land. Sa nais ni Jesus na pagalingin ang dalawang tao na nasa labas ng lungsod at pinakihirapan ng mga masasamang espiritu, Sa kagustuhan ni Jesus na sila ay gumaling, yung mga baboy naman na pinagkakakitaan nila ang napaslang, ang nawala. Kaya inisip ng mga tao, baka ganun din ang gawin ni Jesus sa kanilang bayan. Baka maubos yung kanilang mga pinagkakakitaan dahil kay Jesus. And so, upon entering the city, the people went out and beg Jesus, please leave our district. We do not need you here because you will just bring trouble here. My dear brothers and sisters, in this episode, Jesus came into the town in a different way, in a different setting, in a different situation. Because Jesus gave importance not to the swine. 
he gave importance to the two persons who needed healing. But the people in the town, what were they thinking? Were they giving importance to the two persons who were healed by Jesus or were they giving importance more to the swines? This is a different kind of situation and Jesus is in fact teaching them that it is more important to heal the two persons than to save the swine. But the people cannot see that. They only thought of their business. And it was better for them that the two persons, the two demoniacs were left outside town to die, but to save their business. And so they asked Jesus to leave. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus comes into the town of the Gadarenes trying to teach them that in that kind of situation, it is better for them to think what is really needed in their town to save the business or to save their fellow men. I think this is what Jesus is also trying to teach us in this time of pandemic. Are we trying to save only the economy? Or do people come first? Sometimes when you say to people that persons come first before the economy, they would tell you, like what they told Jesus, please, just leave my town. I do not want trouble from you. But Jesus teaches us today to choose. Are we ready to accept him in our town? Are we ready to accept Jesus in our lives, even if it means for us changing our priorities changing our points of view, changing our thinking. If Jesus tells you today, if Jesus tells us today, if Jesus tells our country and our world today to prioritize the person before any material or economic needs to bring out the person, do we say also to Jesus, leave my country leave my town? Or are we saying to Jesus, come in, teach us more of your values? Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa panahon po natin ngayon ng pandemya na ito, ay dumarating si Jesus at dumarating siya ng may pangangailangan. Sino ang uunahin natin? Tatanggapin din ba natin si Jesus? O kagaya sa kwento, itataboy din natin siya sapagkat gusto nating mauna ang ating kagustuhan bago ang kapwa. That is why in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Amos, we heard about God reminding the Israelites that for us to have a, a worthy sacrifice, God does not need any burnt offerings, any songs, any incense, solemnities, or feasts. Jesus said to Israel, I do not need your feasts. What I need is justice and goodness. And if you have justice and goodness in your country, in Israel, then that is worth more than all your peace offerings, your burnt offerings for me. Yun pala ang kinalulugdan ng Diyos. Nang ang tayo ay gumawa ng kabutihan at ipaglaban ang katarungan at hustisya sa lipunan. 
That is the perfect sacrifice according to our first reading. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, our Lord, is coming to us. Do we reject Him? Do we tell Him to leave? Jesus is coming to us in this time of pandemic. People who are hungry, people who are not accepted because they are sick or because we are afraid of them. It is time for us to reevaluate our priorities, reevaluate our values in life, and let us see Jesus is coming to us, teaching us, and let us ask ourselves are we going to receive Jesus or are we going to reject him again? In this Mass, let us pray that as we continue our journey this year, a difficult journey of encountering this difficult situation of pandemic, let us remember that Jesus is coming to us in this time of pandemic. He is here. He is with us. But He is coming in a different way. And we may be surprised because Jesus is coming in a different kind of way, are we going to accept him even if he comes in a difficult way? Are we going to accept him or are we going to reject him? Let us pray that our hearts might be ready and open to receive the coming of Jesus. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence and let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through its pastors, may be true ministers of healing and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may not be distracted by the lure of power and money, and may they realize the evil of corruption in governance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That purity and respect for human dignity may destroy the unclean spirits at work in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's healing presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all-powerful, we bring before you our needs and pray confidently for your help to free us from the influence of evil. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. As we face our Lord Jesus Christ in the sacrament of his body and blood, let us pray that we might receive Jesus in his coming into our lives. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me, His holy name. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to invite everyone tonight at 9 p.m., our uh, healing rosary for the world will be live from the uh, Diocese of Borongan no, in Eastern Samar no, with Bishop Abarques. And uh, we invite everyone to join us again at 9 p.m. this evening, our uh, every Wednesday habit of praying the Holy Rosary together for healing and protection for the world. And we would like also to thank everyone who always joins us in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass online. And we will continue celebrating these Masses online, our regular schedule. And uh, for those also who have uh, reached out to us and sent their help and donations, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us now all together ask the protection of Our Lady as we all together pray the Memorare. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. It seems that I've lost you. 
Thank you. 